on the right triangles. So remember the first section was if you've got a right triangle with an altitude in it, these three pieces are the geometric mean. So it, it's always gonna be compared to this hypotenuse. So if this is eight and this was 12, if you were looking for X, X is a geometric mean, so it goes in there twice. Doesn't matter if it's this way or that way, just make sure they're kitty corner. And then eight and 20. And then eight and 20, right. The piece hooked onto it and then the entire length. What's the geometric mean? This. Geometric mean we did in uh, chapter eight, just one lesson on it. So now you're doing the geometric mean for these right triangles. A geometric mean goes in a proportion twice. So this piece, this altitude is also a geometric mean. So that goes in there twice. And again, it doesn't matter if you put it here or here. So when it's this piece, what other two numbers do you put in? 8 and 12, because it cuts it. And then if you're looking for this piece, that's a geometric mean. This, this, or this. You're never going to solve a problem where you got um, any one of these involved in the same one. It's always going to be this associated with these two, or this associated with these two, or this associated with these two. So that one, Z is a geometric mean. So when it's this leg, you put what two numbers in there? 12 and the whole length, which is 20. So remember when you solve these, Y times Y is Y squared equals 8 times 12, 96. And then you got to square root it to figure out what Y is. Okay? Now remember, the letter isn't always the one that goes in there twice. Sometimes you have something like this. You just need to know what are the geometric means. This, this, and this are the geometric means. So 10 goes in there twice. And then you put in, since it's this piece, you put 6 and x. So this is a simple proportion. It's just 10 times 10 divided by 6. Then, the other right triangle, today's worksheet um, doesn't have these on them though because we've already done a worksheet on what I just showed you. Today's has right triangles where you know two sides. So you're either going to know a leg and a hypotenuse or the hypotenuse and the leg. And you got to find the missing side or the one like the assignments we just did where you're going to have 45 45 so remember they may just put a 45 in there and you need to recognize it's a special triangle or they may just go like that or they may just go like that And then 30, 60, 90s. So you're either going to be given the uh, short leg, the hypotenuse, or the long leg. So these are the three types of right triangles that we're going to solve and they're going to be on today's worksheet, kind of review worksheet. Um, remember, when you see something that has two sides given, you got to use the Pythagorean theorem. When you see these that have 45 45s, you can use those rules or the 30, 60, 90 you can use the special rules. So, this one, since it's hypotenuse you're using, you add them or subtract them. It'd be 10 squared plus four squared square rooted. Um, now on these, 
you leave, and these, you're going to leave them as radicals. So you're not going to do decimals. So 10 squared is 100, 4 squared is 16, so that's the square root of 116. So again, you don't type it in a calculator and round to a tenth on these. You got to figure out what perfect square goes into it. So four should. Four times 29. I just took 116 divided by four and I got 29. So that simplifies to two square roots of 29. This one, if it's the hypotenuse, you know, then you subtract them. 16 squared minus six squared, and you square root it, is 220. So if I try, we know 100 doesn't go in there, 81 doesn't. 64 doesn't, um, I know 49 doesn't, 36 doesn't, 25 doesn't, 16 doesn't, 9 doesn't, so 4 is the only one that goes in there. 4 times 55, which would be Then on the special triangles, these are going to be mixed amongst themselves now. You know, it's not just going to be do these and do these. They're going to be mixed up. So remember the rule for the 45-45s are, if you know the hypotenuse, the leg is just half of that times the square root of 2. And the legs will be equal to each other on a 45-45. If you know the leg, the other leg is the same. And the hypotenuse then is just the leg times the square root of 2. So the two rules are the hypotenuse equals the leg times the square root of 2. The leg equals half of the hypotenuse times the square root of 2. So if it's an odd number, half of 11 is 5.5 .5 square root of 2. Or you could just do it like the book. The book just leaves it 11 squared to 2 divided by 2, because 11 over 2 is 5.5. Either way you write it is okay. Yeah. Then, the uh, 30, 60, 90s, the short leg is half of the hypotenuse, so the hypotenuse would be doubled. The long leg is just the short leg times the square root of 3. The hypotenuse is 20, the short leg is half of that, just like up here. And then the long leg is just the short leg times the square root of 3. So those two rules are the hypotenuse is double the short leg, or backwards, the short leg is equal to half of the hypotenuse. The long leg is equal to the short leg times the square root of 3. So remember, these use square root of 3, these use square root of 2. Then, this is the trickiest one. When you know the long leg, the short leg, it's very similar to this one, is equal to the long leg times the square root of 3 divided by 3. So this would just be 10 square root of 3 divided by 3. You could, yep, yeah, because 10 over 3 won't reduce. If you had something like 12 squared to 3 over 3, then you can reduce because 12 over 3 is 4. Then now that I know the short leg, the hypotenuse is just double it. So remember, when you double 10 squared to 3 over 3, you get 20 squared to 3 over 3. You don't double all the numbers, you just double how many of them there are. So, just a worksheet on these. 